Hello everybody. I am just Lance and I am here for another shave. Thank you all for joining. Anyways, um, if you watched my last video, which was an unboxing, um, you pretty much seen most of the products which I'm going to be using. Um, since I'm using products from the mail call, which was so generously um, sent me via Dennis O'Drain, I am going to go ahead and I decided that it was time to uh, do another gratitude shave. Anyways, um, so everything at least as many of the items as I possibly can is are going to be products that I have been given by members of the wet shaving community. Either um, I got them through a drawing for wet for for a product, or they were just straight piff to me. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're going to use. First thing is this the Rockwell 6s stainless steel adjustable razor um, in case you're not familiar with this razor you have three plates that look like so but you have three plates um, each plate has different settings you have plate with settings 1 3 1 with settings 2 4 1 with settings 5 6 and how you adjust that is basically unscrew the handle like so and just take the plate and as you can see it's like that and like that on on each side put your blade in which just you know coincidentally the blade I used in my last gratitude shave was a dollar general double-edged blade um, that just happens to be what I'm using tonight I pulled out my last um, Dollar General Double D E Blade. Anyways, it is on setting R6. The way you know what setting it's on is when you put your razor together and you look at it this way, you will have down here on the bottom, you will have a letter, the letter R, and a number, 1 through 6. And whatever number you see tells you what setting it's on. This, as far as I know, is R6. If it's not R6, then it's R5. So, if I'm shaving on R5, sue me. <laughs> Anyways, the soap is, thanks to Dennis O'Drain, is this right here. Parasso Green. Eucalyptus and menthol. Has some camphor in there. Has a decent scent. The brush is going to be this one here. This is the, in, in the last video my girlfriend says I didn't quite show it well, but this is the Maggert's 24mm Synthetic. Um, right there it's got a maple leaf, it's brown and white marbled. Feels great in the hand, absolutely gorgeous brush. The aftershave is going to be the matching Parasso Green aftershave. And tonight, I'm going to be doing something. I got this tip from Leonard Ybarra. If you've checked out the Cremo Creams, let me find it. The Cremo Cream, I have the Cremo Cooling. Um, I wasn't able to get a real thick creamy lather off of this. Um, and I saw, so I wasn't, it was kind of like that, eh, I'll just use it occasionally. But Leonard Ybarra had a, um, he was talking about stuff that he does in the summertime. And he said he uses the Cremo cooling as a pre-shave. I tried it before, it works great. Uh, Ken Surfs was using the Cremo sandalwood. I went ahead, I passed that tip on to him. I don't know if he's going to try it, but it sounded like he liked the idea. Anyways, so let's go ahead. Let's get to the shave. Let me wet my wet the brush. 
This is a synthetic brush, so just run it under the cold water. Shake out the excess. I like going after my soaps with a relatively um, damp, you know, a relatively dry brush. I don't like my brushes really wet. So we'll see how this does. Um, if this works as well as the Parasso Red, then I don't see any problems. I picture probably more than likely it'll be that type of situation where you just, you know, keep lathering and adding water until you get to the perfect um, hydration point and then it just like explodes. That's what I found with the red. A little more. Add a little bit of water here. Loading, 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 loading. Good enough. Let me wet the face. Oops, let me grab my shave towel back here. Pardon me, guys. So, I just take, put a little bit of cream on the fingertips like so. Spread it around. I don't use a whole lot. Because it's, you know, some relatively slick stuff. So, um, you know, I've tried using well, Steve the Daily Shaver. And so, Tip, he's talked about you know, using coconut oil as a pre shave. Um, I did that and it works fairly well. However, my brush felt kind of, I don't know, just didn't quite feel right to me. And then, I'm going to rinse my hands here, guys. I saw Douglas Smythe, a video with Douglas Smythe, saying, hey, you know, if you're going to go ahead, if you're going to uh, put, use pre-shave oils, um, you know, Beware that that you might go ahead and, and gunk up your your um, brush a little. So I thought, yeah, I don't want to gunk up my brushes. So this here, this mm, oh yeah, the Cremo makes a really nice pre-shave. I don't use pre-shaves all the time, but I like to once in a while. I don't like doing pre-shave type stuff all that much, but the, um, oh yeah, this brush is really feels good. thing about these synthetic brushes 
This is a natural hair. You don't get that wet dog smell. Um, I remember when I got my first badger brush, which was just a Razor Rock two band finest in the barber handle. Right in the barber handle. Um, I thought, oh, that ain't bad, that ain't bad at all. And boom, it just, when it got wet, it was like, oh, damn, what's that smell? So. Oh yeah, that. There we go. Oh yeah, that's working. And it's not this like giant you know, this giant voluminous lather, but I don't like super, super thick lathers on my face. Um, oh yeah, that, that feels really good. It's a warm night here, so that, oh yeah, that's what I mean by the Parasso. Once you hit the right saturation point for me, once I hit that perfect saturation point, it just kind of, boom. So, do a little paint over here. Yeah, here where I live, um, we had some guy ended up setting like in a 24 hour period, set like seven fires one or two churches were involved in the fires. Um, I don't know how bad the damage to the church or churches were. I think it was just all on the outside, but from what I understand, witnesses said that they saw this guy um, get some heat in his blade real quick. They said that he looked like he was, you know, like a gardener cleaning up and, and fortunately he didn't burn anything down that had anybody in it. Here we go, first pass with the gray. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Um, slickness and all, that's about what I expected with it being Parasso. But Cremo kind of kicked it up a notch, but yeah, luckily he didn't start any fires where there was anybody squatters or anything. Um, but you know, he'd like, I guess, gather up from what I understand, he'd just gather up material, wood, dry, dry wood, you know, from dead trees, whatever, bushes, you know, weeds, any debris he could. And, uh, He would pile it up where people couldn't see and uh, and he'd light the fire. And he was seen at I think pretty much all of the sites or at all the scenes. Um, nobody really put two and two together. Until, you know, they noticed his pattern, or until they figured out that, you know, he would be cleaning. Or somebody that fit his description would be cleaning. Um, so, you know, that's, that's not good. Anyways, um, yeah, that first pass felt really, really good. Um, the Parasso, working really, really nice. Um, yeah, I'm loving the brush. 
I really like the way that brush felt on the face. Um, yeah, I'm liking it. So far, Dennis, I'm liking this, man. But yeah, so that guy, he gets convicted. He's going to be going away for a bit. Anyways, second pass. Here we go. Lather up. Feels good. Nice on the face. Plenty of backbone in this brush. Plenty of backbone. Um, it's definitely... Um, going to... Become in part of the regular rotation. That's for sure. Yeah, that menthol, the eucalyptus and menthol, it's got a nice feeling on the face. Across the grain, from the side of the goatee to the mustache. Or at least halfway across. So, here we go. Yeah, I'm trying to get to learn to use my left hand, my right hand a little bit more when I shave. Because um, I would like to be able to go on up here on my neck. Because I would like to be able to, you know, one of these times get one of those Feather Artist Club Chevettes. Give it a try. Yeah, if you haven't seen the, my last video, um, go ahead and check it out. Um, it's an unboxing video, nice mail call video, so. Okay, so third pass, not really have to work the cream in, just paint it on. Of course, the next two shades I will be using another two products that came today, um, which is that Top Sandalwood Shading Cream and Alan Ward uh, Orange War. Soap by Fine. Um, I might do the Fine first. I don't know. Um, it's a hard decision. I've been wanting the the Fine, the Tobs Sandalwood for a while. Um, I normally don't get a lot of creams. So, when I do get a cream, it's kind of a treat. I mean, I've got the Derby Extra Cream, the lavender. And 
be honest, it's it's not bad cream at all for the price point. Uh, it gives me a decent decent lather. Although I did, because it's the extra and it says contains it, you know, that it contains a hint of menthol. I uh I don't know, it lost its menthol kick, I think. It feels, you know, to me it feels like it lost its menthol kick. But, uh, I put the cream oil on it as a pre-shave. And that kind of brought it back, I guess, you know. Real quick check here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. You know, that's good. Anyways, um, so I'm going to cut away here. I'm going to go ahead and shave my, my dome, rinse my face, shave my dome. And when I come back, uh, we'll do the post. See you in a minute. Hey, everybody. Anyhow, as you can see, done with the dome. Uh, ran the razor on the six on my head. Nice and smooth. Uh, no problems. Anyways, so let's go ahead and move on to the post. Good, cheap. Good old cheapo Dollar General witch hazel. Uh oh. Almost forgot one thing. Oh, I'm on the face. Or oh, I'm on the face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Hardly any steam. Of course, now I wait until I get done with my head before I do this. Before I used to do it immediately after I'd shave my face and whoosh, tell you what, no matter how how light a touch, ooh, it'd bite it'd bite me good. Okay, so let that set for a few more seconds and go ahead and rinse off. Nice thing about Dollar General Witch Hazel is if you spill it or do what I did, get some in your hand and have to dump it out so you could do something else real quick. It's no big loss. I mean, what? A little over two bucks for this size bottle of Dollar General. And I know a lot of you guys like the Humphreys, the Thayers. I don't know what the Humphreys runs, but I think I heard once that the with the Thayers runs like, oh, I don't know, six something, something like that, a bottle. Of course, it's got, you know, some smell good to it, so you ain't got to smell it. Oh, that witch hazel scent. 
which I don't really mind. I'm so used to it now, and it doesn't last long. So, that's up. Um, and since I was using the stuff with menthol in it, I'm going to use for my balm, Nivea for Sensitive Skin Cooling Balm. It's not Captain's Choice, but I like it. Um, I really like this stuff. Put it on a beard, I'm going to go tea. Back to the post shave shelf. Go back. And last but not least, <laughs> the Parasso Green Feels good. Use a little bit more of that. Oh, oh, yeah, it's got some burn. Mm. Yeah, it's got a bite, but I want to get it. Mmm. Oh yeah, I like ooh, I like that. Oh nice. Very nice. Mmm. Anyways. Yeah. Burn but cools down nice. That's that that feels good. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we used. On this gratitude shave we used the Rockwell 6S on setting 6. Oh yeah, um, the blade was a Dollar General double-edged blade on its first use. Real quick story behind this. Um, I was uh, the clean shaver. Scott Austin Miller was having a, a contest. He had tried the Rockwell 6S for the first time. Um, he figured it was gimmicky. He was just going to go ahead and piff it out, you know, have a giveaway, but he loved it so much, he actually got hold of Gareth with Rockwell and set up for a, and yeah, that's still kind of, oh, that feels good, but he set up for a, um, a giveaway, and the trick was, is you had to nominate somebody and say why you nominated them, so I went ahead and nominated my brother, um, He's got back issues and stuff, and he still busts his butt every day um, at work. And uh, I nominated him. Well, I told my girlfriend about it, told her I was going to nominate my brother. Right after I nominated my brother, she went on and nominated me. Um, and apparently that one got a whole lot of likes. And it just so happened that that was the, the nomination drawn. So I ended up going ahead and winning the Rockwell 6S, which was a huge shock when he saw, I'll just go ahead and read it. And she, he read what she wrote. And I was like, oh, what? So, yeah, I was absolutely just stunned when my girlfriend, when I found out my girlfriend did that for me. And uh, so, you know, that razor will always stay in the den because it's kind of from her. It's from Rockwell, but it's from her. Because if it wouldn't have been for her, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it. Um, eventually I would, but I wouldn't have got it when I did. 
Um, in case you're not familiar with this razor, by the way, these these razors are a hundred bucks, hundred dollars for a solid three hundred sixteen L stainless steel adjustable razors. Not bad. Now on to the rest. The brush is the Maggert's um, synthetic with a marble handle with a little with a marble looking handle with the maple leaf synthetic brush absolutely wonderful brush um, I enjoyed it very much plenty of backbone um, the tips were nice and soft it just I mean it's a great brush I'm very happy to have it the soap was Parasso Green never tried it until tonight absolutely wonderful soap uh, I like the scent, I like the performance, um, even though I used a pre-shave, it performed well, you know, it performed how I expect it, a little better than I expected, but then again, I had a pre-shave. The pre-shave was Cremo Cooling um, mint, after, uh, mint Shaving Cream. It's, it's got a little bit of a minty smell here. I mean, it's 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 nice. I like it. It's it makes a great pre-shave. Uh, for me, it sucks as a shaving cream, but it's a great pre-shave. I might go ahead and pick up uh, another tube of it, along with the different tubes that they make of the different types of cremo, because it is an outstanding pre-shave. Um, I finished it off with a warm water rinse, followed by cold water. Dollar General Witch Hazel, Nivea for Sensitive Skin Cooling Balm, no that's the cooling balm, that was the original I showed, and last but not least, Parasso Green Aftershave Splash, um, great, feels great on the skin, it's got a bit of a burn, but it cools down, just great aftershave. I really like it. That's that cooling effect is right up my alley. Um, thank you, Clean Shaver. If you ever see this, thank you, Clean Shaver, for having the giveaway for the Rockwell. Um, thank you, uh, Dennis O'Neill or O'Drain. Pardon me. Thank you, Dennis O'Drain, for the piff. I. Once again, I was absolutely floored when I opened that box. I appreciate it, and I thank you so much, sir. Anyways, so that's the shave. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Um, have some great days, great shaves, and I shall see you all on the flip side of the blade.